Hello everyone. Have you ever wondered how NAS and SAN work? Well, this is what we are going to talk about today. NAS and SAN were developed to solve the problem of making stored data available to multiple users at once. Each of them provides dedicated storage to a group of users, but they are a little different in their approach. Let's discuss one by one. NAS stands for Network Attached Storage. is a centralized storage device for storing data on a network that can be accessed by multiple users the main characteristics of nas is the number of bays you can insert hard drives into basically nas is a computerized box that has multiple hard drives in a raid configuration for redundancy it also has a nic card that is connected to the router so data can be accessed on a network by other devices for example when a user makes a request for data stored on a nas request goes to the nas box which is then managed by the nas operating system and data is retrieved by using protocols such as server message block common internet file services and network file system the primary benefit of nas it is inexpensive simple to set up and deploy one of the main drawbacks of nas it has a single point of failure that means if something gets broken down such as power supply then all the other devices will not be able to access data in addition to that the working of nas is also affected by network traffic bottlenecks okay now the question is who can use this type of storage Well, NAS is suitable for homes and small to medium sized businesses. SAN storage area network. SAN is a high performance and high speed storage network that stores large amounts of data and provides access to multiple devices. SAN is typically used by large corporations because it is very expensive. SAN is basically consists of arrays of disks, switches and servers. which are connected through a variety of san technologies the good thing is it is fault tolerant because it has more than one of these devices and data is also shared among different disk arrays so any of these devices break down data still can be accessed because devices get direct access to the data just like if it was on a local hard drive so basically it usually appears on the client operating system as a local disk This is what makes it an incredibly fast storage solution. SAN is a bunch of disks that act as one storage device in a network. It is designed for quick data access and easy scalability because it is scalable. Adding more space can be done smoothly without interrupting the network. SAN is a dedicated network unlike NAS which is a shared network. As I mentioned before, SAN is a high speed network. because all devices are interconnected by using a fiber channel fiber channel is a fiber optics that has a speed of 2 to 128 gigabits per seconds so the high speed comes at a very high cost some sans might use internet small computer system interface protocol as a slower but less expensive alternative to fiber channel most businesses prefer san because the working of san is not affected by network traffic such as bottlenecks that take place in a lan and the reason for this san is not a part of lan it separates the storage system from the rest of the lan so you can say it's a network by itself this way it improves application performance data protection and disaster recovery if needed san is suitable for performance sensitive applications such as oracle database video editing software and e-commerce platforms the most common protocols used by san fiber channel protocol internet small computer system interface fiber channel over ethernet san has many benefits over nas like fast data access scalability and data security the primary disadvantage of san it is expensive and complex to set up all right this wraps up today's video please hit the subscribe button for more videos